So the top 100 gives us a really good reflection of the year that was 2020. Uh, this, as we know, there's so many ways of describing 2020, but it's certainly been unprecedented in our lifetimes. And you see that in the writing that we've chosen to highlight this year. We've got pandemic fiction, um, dystopian fiction. There's a real desire that we're seeing from our readers for this sort of material. We've added um, some new categories this year. And I think that really, we did that because of the unusual year that we've had. And we found, of course, with all of these, there's way too much material around. So you've got to make some hard decisions about what you put in and what you leave out. We've got a category um, of books in translation. Um, we have the best of the decade. And uh, gee, that was hard to do. There's so much good material. And then we've got one called 2020 Vision. And that's our one, which is, okay, what's just happened here? How do we, how do we move on from here? My favorite category uh, is, is the diverse voices list. Um, because the list is so diverse as well. And I'm really interested to read material that's from marginalised voices, the voices that sometimes get left out of the conversations. So for me, I think that holds the most interest. Although, I suppose if I'm going to be honest, I really want to read every single one of them, but I've got all year to do that. So we really, yeah, we wanted to mix it up a bit, change it around. Um, it's been a year of, of, of doing that.